A warning, not heated turns deadly for an 84 year old woman from Folsom. Officials say she died yesterday after falling into her own pile that was burning. And even more tragic, WDSU reporter Arielle Brumfield tells us her family believes her health and a language barrier may have been why she disregarded that burn ban. The family of the 84 year old woman who died yesterday tells me that they think the decision to burn was more so due to a lack of understanding than negligence. Now they're mourning their wife and a stepmother who they say took really good care of them. We called her Itza, that was her nickname, and um, she was my dad's teenage sweetheart. A family now remembering a small woman with a big impact, 84-year-old Ilona Beto. She takes real good care of my dad. She is what we call the little beast because she was so, t she loved her gardening, she loved staying outside. She was starting to get pre-dementia, so she was forgetting. Things. Born in Hungary, Beto married Steve in the early 2000s. Her stepdaughter Lydia says she started to have memory lapse and even more difficulty understanding English, which is why she believes she didn't remember when they warned her against burning debris. Friday, uh, she didn't understand what a burn ban was, and I'm almost thinking she kept forgetting. And my dad kept reminding her, don't go out and burn. And by Sunday, Lydia says she believes Beto was outside raking leaves in the backyard of her home on the 78,000 block of LA 25 and decided to burn. Burn. One of our deputies was actually responding to a complaint about a burn pile in Acton. He was on the way to that complaint when he came across this fire on Highway 25. As he pulled over to investigate it, a volunteer firefighter pulled up at the same time, and certainly both of them could see very quickly that this was a fire that was moving and it needed to be contained. Rodrigue says Beto's body was discovered in the yard. She was still alive. The fire spread into her neighbor's yard. Dolly Gaines, still shaking from the incident, walks her yard where smoke and Beto's memory is still etched in the ground. Where her shoes and all are is in the middle of the fire. She was surrounded completely. Beto was taken to a New Orleans hospital where she later died. Rodrigue says this is an unfortunate incident they're hoping people won't take lightly. We need everyone to understand it can happen. It will happen if we are not all careful and if we are not all respective of the fact that there's a burn ban in place for a reason. And we need everyone to follow that and to share that message. And to read the full release from the State Fire Marshal's Office on this incident, visit our website at WDSU.com. Reporting in Folsom, I'm Ariel Brumfield, WDSU News.